All right, no complaints anymore. This is the fourth quarterfinal of One Belt, One Road, $8,400 on the line. And we have the fourth quarterfinal. Happy Fly and Moon have ascended to the top four already. So one European will follow. That's either Foggy or Night End. They are meeting each other in a best of three. Amazonia is the first map. Ukraine versus Romania, both part of the One Belt, One Road uh, partnership that China is starting. We have four Chinese in this tournament and four players from other countries. That is Moon from Korea, Happy from Russia, Foggy from the Ukraine, and Night End from Romania, as Orc Worker did decline the invitation as he's inactive. So, Foggy has a good Night End versus Undead matchup. Can't say the same about Night End. Um, so definitely the favorite is the Ukraine, the former vice world champion, the two-time vice world champion. And Foggy is finally back to Warcraft competition, starting in the bottom left. Did he adapt? What is his current shape? What's his current mindset? What's his... Does he have any new ideas or did he get rusty? We'll see about that. Keeper of the Grove is the opener for him. Night end so far, pretty standard. With the DK opening, sends the Acolyte over. Will most likely slaughter a sheep. Will he play aggressive or not? It's a little bit the question. Happy would definitely rush over. So we will wait there. Try to like, get rid of the aggro a little. And wait for the hero to see if it's a demon hunter or a keeper of the grove. Cool to see Night End on an offline tournament. Uh, number one on the battle net ladder for a long time. Oh, second lightning shield. Doesn't deny anything. This Foggy Claws of Attack, also nice for him. Foggy pulls the second creep, everything will go a little faster. That's level two, right. Oh wait, he denied a creep. Wait, did he? Yeah, I think he did. Doesn't really matter, it will be level two anyway. There we go. And the DK is not ultra aggressive, but not creeping. Has another acolyte. That's seven acolytes into tech. Interesting. Awaiting a foggy harass, I guess. And there we go. Level two means, of course, entangle. DK is already at 50%. This is not how it's supposed to be, really. Especially without Aura, you need another spot. And Foggy is creeping with Treant at the same time. Interesting, haven't seen that in a while. You either focus on Harass or uh, you go for this one right away. But the Murloc creep seems to be a neat thing. DK could creep with Ghouls right there. Graveyard is in time. So I saw Night End with heavy tier 3 plays against Night Elf. Abomination, Meat Wagons, that sort of thing. But I haven't seen him play in a long time. I think it was in July or around that time, I think. Ah, Lightning Shield in now. Yeah, I mean, this happens to Foggy. Wouldn't be too surprised if he forgets the Hunter Soul as well. There are these flaws in Foggy's game from time to time. Mantle's nice, plus nine. DK got level two. Okay, that's big. Good block against the Archer, but no dust. Could send something to the lab, but not worth it. DK has a coil. Threshold. 50 damage away. So rather hunt these archers. Still not enough damage. Good shadow melts by Foggy. Skeletons. Uh, not expiring soon. Can't do a lot with this. Staff on the DK. Usually a Foggy signature item. <clears throat> He's really greedy with this decay. No replenishment potion or anything. Statues are quite far away. Is he willing to buy a dagger? At least he's seeing this creep. This delay is level 3 for a little, but... With a DK hurt like this, you can't really put too much pressure on the keeper anymore. Especially not with plus 9. Oh, there's a coil though. Level 3 can't be prevented. Under shooting damage a little. Skeleton making up for it. Yep, gets the kill. Foggy pretty high on archers. Going up to 6. Expansion already in the works at one third, And the tech is done. Wait. 
No hunt to soul. Is this airplay? Is he going wins or did he really forget about it? Could be hippo riders then. Okay. A player's forces are under attack. Lich is coming. Then he needs fiends desperately. Okay, staff to get out, but he's in trouble with his DK. He's at tier 2, okay, can go for a potion. But the slaughterhouse is getting wrecked. Foggy finds a nice timing again. He did this, or he does this, uh, since GCS 2016. Going for production buildings early. It doesn't matter if against orc or human or now undead. This has always been a vital part of his game. And especially with a DK like this. One coil, 230 HP, preventing stat use is so big. And it's double engine of wind! 1.30 night elf play. With hippo riders and fairy dragons. No one really plays it anymore. Oh, night and denied the creep as well. This prevents level 3 for a little. He can go for the green one. Night End is uh, short on resources. Really has to go Fiends now. Doesn't have a second crib. So Foggy will definitely outproduce him. It's gonna be a lot of air if he doesn't forget about production. So how do you want to get up the, these fiends numbers for web? You have to queue in web at one point. You have only one, maybe two soon. 34 supply. He has to dodge fights for a long time, but Foggy won't allow that. I guess. Decent damage on the Lich already, of course, waiting for tier 3, but Alchemist is level 2 almost. <clears throat> First Hippo Riders out. He sees it now. Kelly staff on Foggy as well now. Night End, I... He knows where his opponent is. He saw the air units as well. Did he see the expo? Not too sure about that. That's a good timing for Night End coming. With the frenzy ghouls against the expo. He can get the kills. Forces are under attack. He's focusing on himself. Is he expanding? He's sending the acolyte to scout, I guess. Okay, so he's most likely not aware. Foggy is coming in. Instant TP out by night end. But he gets the big potion, big mana potion, which is always great. But the TP is gone for them. There was a creep spot right next to his base. So good creep check by Foggy. Acolyte confirms the expo. And I think that was the perfect timing for Night End with the Frenzy Ghouls finished to go for the Tree of Life. But he crept his own expansion instead. Got the level 2 Lich and the potion. Okay. But now with the engine of war here with foggy mining with foggy soon to be breaking upkeep and harassing i don't see him having time for a push no more so pretty passive play by night end still no second crib goes for web now has one fiend here in the back, which is hurt. Only one fiend with the army. In general, very low supply. Embracers, meh item for sure. But foggy level three, three. It's pretty big. And yeah, foggy breaking upkeep. That's okay. Confirming there's no counter expansion. And there's nothing to fear. Just go into the base, try to kill as much as you can, you can TP out, you can easily afford it. Oh, sweet! Acid Bomb and Lightning Shield combo. Keeper has no potion though, this is an easily forced TP. How much damage does he do? That's okay, gets one hippo. How many acolytes died? Three? No, two. Okay. 
activity. That's a lot of mining, though. If we compare this once uh, the haunted gold mine is refilled. Thank you, Death Knight, for gifting a sub to Max. Much appreciated. So, he's super low on lumber as well. Knight and three fiends only. I don't think that's going to work. And he's not rebuilding the fifth acolyte. That hurts. We have a fight. That was a cool attack by Foggy right here. Level advantage, supply advantage, echo advantage. Oh boy. And no consumables really. <laughs> well, it's coming in. Nice dispel. That was quick. Good block by Foggy. And this ledge is just bound to die. Web is coming in, but it's not enough. The, the hero focus is too good. The focus in general is too good. Oh, sweet. Morph. Bought him some time. And this is what happens when you don't have enough fiends. You can't kite too well. Lightning shield again. <laughs> A little inspired by fly yesterday, huh? Foggy. So let's compare the gold mines. 5,600. This keeps on happening. It's not rebuilding this acolyte. Yeah, this is what happens offline. You play Warcraft for 10 years, pretty much every day. And still, you don't realize that you have a worker missing. That's offline tournaments right there. Okay, he gets a kill, level 3. Helps a little against the Hippo Riders, but the problem will be the Mass Fairy Dragons. Because he can't nuke them. Lightning Shield again. Doesn't really connect. He has burned through all his mana. He's forced into the greater mana soon. He's getting pretty much pummeled around the map. 20 supply lead for Foggy. Still good consumables. Staffs as well. So he shouldn't care about a nuke, really. He's trying, but nothing is working for Night End. He put himself into this position, I guess. He's trying his best, but it's just not enough. Didn't really use his ghoul frenzy. Oh. He holds on, though, and gets some more kills from these fairy dragons. And now he's getting a decent number of fiends. The kiting was good. Still this one spot, man. 5,300, 700 gold and rising. And Foggy has this expansion. He's just not getting it. Still okay situation for Foggy, obviously. He has a base more. Uh, 4 and 3, though. Does he have the better hero levels? No. Levels are equal now, so... Knight End caught up in that regard. But burned through a lot of mana. The big mana is gone. And with more fairy dragons, Nova becomes less effective. But this one was a nice one. Actually. So Night End breaking upkeep. Zero zero attack. Foggy coming in with the detonates. If he can burn a lot of mana on this DK. And he can. Should be an easy game for the Ukrainian. Sniping statues this time, not too focused on the heroes. We've seen this in the game of Foggy vs. Happy on this very map where he was too stubborn to only go for the heroes. This does not seem to happen here. He's getting killed pretty much whenever he wants to. And five fiends against 70 supply are not enough. Focus on the Lich again. Mana is running low. It just seems like a matter of time. No one to the back line, but at one point the fairies are too strong, are they? With the undead base in the back, Naiden, what can you do? Can you pull a miracle? 
Web is doing well, and the fiends survive, actually. Most of them. The problem is the mana on the DK. He needs another potion. He has the gold. Foggy is diving deep. I mean, understandable. Everything's low. This will be a lot of kills. Yeah, there's the first fiend dead. One more coil arrives as he gets another potion. But yeah, Night End will be heavily dropping in supply. Another fiend dead. Another fiend dead. And the statues fall as well. Trying to nuke again. Foggy is losing a lot in this as well. But he can replace it. He has 900 gold. Ooh, should not lose the heroes here though. Once again, no TP on Foggy. And he's losing way too much. Night end holds again. Oh my god. Why so over ambitious? Why dive into an undead base like this? Yeah, you want to end the game, but... That was mass murder. Oh, he's unsummoning the spirit tower. A player's forces are under attack. Why? Another kill right there. Level 4 Lich. Super Lich. Level 5 DK as well. Night End. Against the world, pretty much. With four acolytes, he's surviving against two Night Elf bases. Because Foggy is donating his units into his base. So Night End, by the way, unsummoned this tower instead of a ziggurat. And he still doesn't recognize this an acolyte missing. Alright. Foggy, get your shit together. It's only fairies. All the hippos are dead. So this is less damage, but of course they are magic immune, so no Nova against them. Rune Bracer is also good. One thousand four hundred gold difference. Ooh, will we contest the red spot? Wow. Okay, it's definitely on purpose now to have four acolytes, I guess, since he sent this fifth one over. So his main will last longer than Foggy's. The natural lasts forever, though. It's not like on Echo Isles where there's gonna be an outmine on the entire map. Foggy at 67. 2 0 upgrades on the fairies. Of course, they're super far away. And more echoes. If Night End wins this game, Foggy should really question himself. Night End makes this a lot closer than it should be. So Foggy is pushing. He seems to know this expansion is coming up. <laughs> Two acolytes not mining, I don't know. Well, at least you can put this one in your main now. That was an easy cancel for Foggy. 1,000 gold left in the mine. And then... Can Night, of, Night, Night End bank? Not really, right? Level 5 DK with that kill. Okay, web and kiting. That's how you're supposed to do it. One heal scroll. Now Foggy has a TP, finally. Coil arrives in time. Nicely done. Last second. Destroyer is up as well. And he's trying to lure him into the base again. That worked wonders. Last time he had a spirit tower, though. Foggy's army is all over the place. Killing fiends. Super hard to see what's happening. 
Not finishing the focus on the units, I think. Fiend survive, statue survive way longer than they should. But yeah, it's just the brute force by now. Level 5 on the Keeper of the Grove. Night Ant's army is melting away once more. Entangled to secure the kills. Coils are good, but he does have... He needs another potion of mana. And that's just two coils. At one point, he just can't keep up with the damage anymore. Foggy still at 80. The Lich dies eventually. And the Fiends and everything. This is GG. For Night Ant. And 1-0 for Foggy. Oh, boy. That took some time. Yeah, Night Ant just shaking his head. Here in Tyan. I can see the stage now. For the fir for the very first time today. Oh boy. I should have looked up the gold difference, but it was... It was a lot. It was an early tier 2 expansion. And we have him. Did they put the Belgium flag on him? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it, huh? <laughs> The boxing champ is back, enjoying his game. He's like, okay, man, that wasn't my best game ever, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you cripple yourself and only play with four acolytes, then this is what happens. Also, missed the scouting for the expansion. And that's the one oh. For Foggy. It would be if Foggy wins the rematch of the GC uh the, the WGL winter finals of last year. We could get two WGL rematches in a row. With Foggy versus Moon and Moon versus Happy eventually. Are you sure? It's the Romanian flag. Maybe my screen is a little bad calibrated, but for me, the blue looked like black and then it would be Belgium. But maybe it's my screen. <laughs> I mean, the flags are pretty much the same. Blue is black and black is blue. So... We're waiting for the go, waiting for Night End to get ready. One more view at Foggy's and the game starts. One thousand nine hundred people at ten AM. What the fuck is up with you guys? Welcome everyone. Let's go. Map number two, match points for Foggy. And before we go into this game. Thank you, Nukin, for yet another 100 bits. And yeah, this is it. We are in game with Foggy versus Night End, making their way to Tyan. Foggy, former Vice World Champion, wants to be there again. It looked uh, like a typical Foggy game, pretty much. Trying to get the expo up, trying to get a good early game. But then making life harder than it needs to be. Northern Isles. This was the map that was uh, the best for 1-2-0 in his match against Moon earlier today. Usually Foggy is the best when he can prepare for his opponent a long time. The matches were drawn two days ago, I think, so that is pretty much a long time for him. So, Night End in the bottom left with five Acolytes, everyone! This is an improvement! Uh, 
and opening up with the ghoul build again. Pretty sure. Keep her again. So, I feel, like, judging from today, Foggy and Moon have always played pretty similar to each other. Uh, this is, of course, mostly due to Foggy, uh, not copying, but he being heavily influenced by Moon. So they go back to the Keeper in this matchup. No Demon Hunter at all. Work good. A player's forces are under attack. So will Knight and Harass again? I, I don't know. Didn't look too good. By losing so much HP in the early game, this should definitely not happen again. And Foggy is not denying any creeps this time. I would love to show you the item, but I can't. Okay, Ring of Protection. So Night End starts with the creep. Purge on the DK. A player's forces are under attack. And we have a slow start here on Northern Isles. Question for Foggy. Expo, yes, no. When? Well, where is not really the question. It will be here. But the normal build order, normal creep route for Foggy thus far. It has some resources spare. Could expand right away. It would be a little greedy. As he has to survive tier one. Oh, he builds an expansion right away. Okay. Foggy wants some time. I uh, want some. Yeah, needs some time. And he's a little greedy. But alright, Night End getting his level 2. Cloak can be really good. Skeleton. Oh, come on, brave little skeleton warrior. So, with level 2 accomplished, he makes his way over. There's a lot of corpses. There's two rots of necromancy remaining. But is he going? He needs to go there. He sees the archer movement. That should tell him that the natural is gone already. A player's force. So Greyfeld coming. T2 takes sixty percent. Foggy taking now. Again the DK. Quite low. This time he doesn't have to. Staff home to cloak. If he no. can he just be entangled again? Don't think so. DK is again losing too much HP, I think. This time he knows about the expansion though. And that means he knows about the late tech timing as well. Are under But that's all of the Rod of Necromancy charges. The skeletons are scouting everywhere and actually getting a whisk, which is never supposed to happen against the skeleton. But the Tree of Life is up. We got a Slaughterhouse Lich, late fiends again. But he needs this ghoul push this time. That certainly but broke his back in game one attack. to creep his own expansion instead of pushing when the army wasn't so big. Just right click the tree down and prevent this mass air. This is what Foggy is going for again, right? We don't see a Hunter's Hall. There's nothing to cancel here. I feel like Night End is wasting a lot of time. Foggy continues Archer production, of course. And this is a super safe expansion. Not a single point of damage went towards this. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Lich is out though. So 
He's gotta be careful. I mean, he can't step out always, but he's about to heal. Oh, he's counter expanding. Is that the right idea? He's not even checking to tier 3. He's just expanding on tier 2. I don't share the opinion that this is a good idea. Because Foggy is just faster. A player's force is He's going double attack. engine of wind. His two gold mines are up again. Alchemist out. These ghouls become weaker and weaker the longer the game goes. And now with the Alchemist out, he had plenty of time to push already. Ziggurat down. Foggy finds the perfect timing. Okay, at least the undead gets uh, item and all. But acid bomb against ghouls is just so good. Nova against Archer is decent as well, but... Oh, Nidan got that experience as well. Level one and a half at least, but these expo plants are down the dumpster. And Foggy is just playing this mass air game again. Did he kill the Acolyte? Oh no, it's here. What is he doing? A little revenge uh, since Foggy donated so many units to him on AZ. Maybe he just re gifts some units. One fiend, no, that's it. I think Night of has just the wrong approach. Oh, I love the sentry wards by Foggy, by the way. He knows everything. What Night End is doing. So the tier 3 is delayed. The Frenzy push is heavily weakened by losing a couple of ghouls. And boom. Engine of War immediately. Good reaction by Foggy. I like that. This is Night End's army. Two statues and the heroes. Fiends are in the main. Three ghouls remaining. That's not working. Foggy can push this, of course. Three, six, seven archers. Whew, it's gonna be It's gonna be good damage very soon. A player's forces are under attack. We're fighting the north when Iden is losing more experience uh, more HP. No level three yet. Oh, foggy though. Gotta be careful. Nice! Oh he saves that archer. It's not nighttime though. Need some more damage. He's playing time for the Engine of War, so we will kill it eventually. Yeah, and there we go. And now the Engine of War's oven is protecting the gold mine of Night End. So this forces him back. This gives more time to Foggy. I don't see it's Second crypt now with Web. Okay. It's hard to play on one base, but it's doable. You need a lot of fiends. That's his only chance, I think. Without tier 3, without orb, without frenzy ghouls, without destroyers. Maybe if Nidan can steal a lot of invul potions. And get some levels and then hero nuke. I think that's his only chance. A player's forces are under attack. Fuck, he's at 70 supply. Book of the Dead, of course, no tier 3, no dispel. The book was weakened, but if you have no dispel at all, it's still very, very strong. Foggy's going tier 3. Okay. It took him 10 minutes and 40 seconds to get to level 3. A player's forces are under attack. So he's expanding right in his face. Engine of War must know this. There's no Nature's Blessing, by the way. Could go for it. So, 
Will this quarterfinal end here? We'll see about that. Book of the Dead summoned. Fiends are falling in quick succession, I guess. Invo Potion on the Alchemist. Heal Scroll as well. Lich is naked. Needs some coils. There's three left. But yeah, good damage. Foggy is dominating again with his force. This tier one expansion worked way too well. Didn't receive a single point of damage. And that's not how it's supposed to be. Good webs again. Decent is okay. Uh, the damage is decent, I'd say. And Foggy is losing quite a bit, but... Yeah, this was all preparation for a multi-kill, pretty much. Good spread. Decent micro. Even Frost Armor now. To slow things down. Okay. That means the Lich has a lot less mana to work with. Expo, of course, cancelled again. And Foggy didn't lose too much. He can definitely afford the losses. Good micro by Night End, though. I thought he would lose, like, three fiends here. Or three more fiends. But no. He needs a lot of time to heal. Using Burrow for additional regen. Okay, that's pretty smart. But he's still on tier 2. He still doesn't have an orb. His levels are still mediocre. He's still a base down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in the fights directly, he looks okay. But everything else is lackluster. Invul on the Alk again, Acid Bomb, Insta Gib, level 4 on the Keeper now, second Fiend dead. Yeah, this is what I kind of expected uh, to happen a little earlier. But Foggy, I mean, the damage is not great from his units. But he can stay there forever, and it's a lot. It's just a pure mass strategy. And at one point, you can't coil anymore, and that's where. You lose the game. Good burrow, though. Should could have should have done this before, but I guess ah, oh, there was dust or a reveal. Boop, level three, and now things get really hard with level two acid bomb. You can't coil quick enough because your units lose HP so fast. Night End is trying a lot, really. Even burrow micro, even web forces another scan, but. Set you out of the fight. Yes. It's not winnable. He needs superior hero levels. Then he can fight 15 to 20 supply less. But okay. This DK. Does he have a TP? Yeah. And the potion. Trying to walk it off. <sighs> potion before TP. No mana anymore. So Night End survives again. Just refusing to die. Against all odds. It's just mass fiends. Foggy is getting the invul. Oh, doesn't have gold. Just a staff then. He has an invul on the keeper. Should be fine. Fairies added to the mix. Upgrades gonna be 2 0. Foggy is pretty much playing a picture. Like a. Uh, a very normal mass air game for Night Elf. You expand, you mass, you lose a lot. You mass, you push again. <laughs> and Night End didn't stop this one bit. The problem is, he can never buy enough time to set up this expansion. He needs to fight close to his base to get reinforcements quickly. With this army, you can't really kill buildings. And here we go again. We've seen this on Amazonia. Foggy diving bases. Almost 25 supply lead. Lich! Oh, that coil last second. But that's it! No potion anymore. No Nova. No right clicks against the air. Night end. This was not your series. This is not his best matchup, for sure. As the DK... Oh! Almost dies here. Drop the parry up before you use the potion, so that was a nice move, but... A DK without... Uh, an undead without heroes... Is nothing. 
and he's very very close to be one of those undead. Scan used again, double kill on the fiends. Levels are getting out of control again. No hero nuke at all as he has to coil the entire time defensively to save his unit. <laughs> so much gold and potions. GG! This is the end for the night end and he's out of that tournament. We get the rematch of WGL Winter 2018. Moon versus Foggy. We see his celebration in the bottom left. The boxing champion prevails, makes it into the top four. Walk in the park, really, for him. He wasn't really threatened at any point of uh, the game. Arrive, raise hell, leave. This wasn't the best Foggy I've ever seen. Again, lightning uh, shield denies and maybe too ambitious at one point. But all right, it was enough for Night End for sure. And it wasn't even close. On Amazonia, I thought for a second he might turn this around, but... Uh, on Northern Isles, it was just a demonstration of force. Uh, maybe different strategic approach for Night End would be the right thing to do. A little bit more aggressive. But... Okay. That's it. That means we have our semi-final set in stone and pretty much all the favorites prevailed, I would say. Um... Yeah. Oh. Maybe Fly wasn't the favorite. Every single quarterfinal ended with 2-0, and o, by the way. That is interesting. All players in the semifinals are undefeated. And we will have the final four tomorrow. I am super excited for this. Here we go. Uh, gotta enlarge this a little. So here's the grid. As you can see, Fly versus Happy tomorrow morning, 7.40 a.m. That's uh, 20 hours and 40 minutes from now. This is going to be great. Happy continuously says that Org is his weakest matchup. Fly seems to be in great shape against Human. Can he move that shape over to the Undead matchup as well? Or will Happy just destroy him? Then, Moon versus Foggy, WGL Winter Rematch. Moon was successful there. Can Foggy upset him? And can we get a European final in a Chinese tournament? That would be the first time, I guess, ever. Semifinals are all going to be best of three once more. And we have the game for third as well. So four matches tomorrow. Definitely worth to get up early. Be there with me. Remo is going to be there as well. A little back to Warcraft breakfast show. With the one belt, one road. It's $8,400 on the line. The chance for a European final are not the smallest. Or will Happy be dethroned? Will Moon grab the title again? Will Happy be killed by Fly? And Fly uh, is making his way into the top of the scene once more. Interesting storylines that will be told tomorrow. I thank you all for getting up early with me. 2,000 viewers here at 10, 11 a.m. is absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys have a great day. We have two new subs. Thank you, Ninjin Sin, awesome Nick, 18 month, and Sonnenwurm for your prime. I take the rest of the day off going to the Reeperbahn Festival. If you're there, um, I will be at the Intersphere and Garden and the Tree. If you're there, just hit me up. Let's have a beer. And we will see each other at 7.40 tomorrow. Dual cast, fly, happy, moon, foggy, $8,400, games, life, and Tian, Tian. What more to hope for? Enjoy your day. Um, and again, if you want to support us, feel free. Uh, we have, of course, you can sub here on Twitch. You can donate via Streamlabs if you have a dollar or two left over. Uh, send it to us if you like us. You can buy our merchandise um, at shop.backtowarcraft.com. Use our Amazon referral links and watch the content without ad block that all helps a lot but also helps without putting in uh, some financial like some some money is liking us on social media facebook twitter instagram uh, like our content there share our content there comment on our content there that increases the reach and helps us to make this project even bigger and yeah if you have a good day 
Say hi to your favorite streamer. Say what kind of a good job he does. That makes a difference. Trust me. Every positive comment helps to keep the machines going. Overwhelm the negativity with kindness. And yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. See you tomorrow, 7.40. Set your alarms.